This picture is too confusing right now. Let's simplify. Blood comes into the heart through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. It fills up the right atrium. First, a little load. When the blood first enters the heart, it lacks oxygen. It is oxygen depleted. I represent that blood with the color blue. It is actually a dark red. Blood is always red. Veins look blue due to other regions that are not important right now. So blood fills up the right atrium. The right atrium fills up and fires. What we mean by fires? It pumps the blood to the next stage. Stage 2 is the right ventricle. It goes through a door called the tricuspid valve. Okay, it's a funny looking door and it's not even called a door, but a valve. And the valve has got three flaps on it. And it's shaped like a cusp. A cusp is something with a point on it. By cusp, it will be something with two points on it, like this tooth. Our heart valve is a tricuspid, so it has three points on it. And here is our tricuspid. One, two, three. So the right atrium fires its blood into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. Now the right ventricle fills up with blood. And the right atrium empties. The right ventricle now fires. All its blood into the lungs because it's out of oxygen. But to get there, the blood has to go through the pulmonary artery. Let's reiterate. Blood comes from superior and inferior vena cava. And it goes into the right atrium. And then, from the right atrium to the right ventricle, through the tricuspid valve. Now the blood fires from the right ventricle, this guy, to the lungs. But to get there, it got to go through the pulmonary artery, this guy here. To get to the pulmonary artery, it's got to go through the pulmonary valve, this guy here. So, from the right ventricle to the, to the pulmonary valve, to the pulmonary artery, to the lungs. 
from Ulsan, this is Dr. Tom.